Hello and welcome to Fraculous, a show so full of apps we're in danger of hitting the YouTube baggage allowance. We've got Android beatiness, iPhone productivity and BlackBerry funness. In fact, I'd say we've got it all. Nothing gets my blood flowing quite as much as a good beta trial. The chance to test out a buggy piece of software, safe in the knowledge there probably aren't too many other people who could be bothered to jump through the hoops you generally have to jump through to get it. Nerdgasm. And so to TweetDeck for Android, a much anticipated release currently in open beta for Android users. There's the option to add your Twitter, Facebook, Google Buzz and Foursquare accounts, although trying to add Foursquare crashes the app for me. There's the beatiness for you. Once you're in, you'll immediately see that one thing TweetDeck has done is create one feed for all your updates. So your home column now incorporates Twitter, Facebook, etc., which are all identified by different colours in your feed. Similarly, the Me column incorporates any mention of you across your social network. You can have different alert settings for your different columns and even different coloured LED flashes. Adding columns is my only real bugbear with this app. There's currently no way of syncing your carefully crafted desktop TweetDeck columns to the device, which I see as the major advantage of TweetDeck, so that's a pain. There is the ability to search for subjects or particular tweeters and adding a column dedicated to them or adding a column to Twitter list that they've created, but it is a bit of a faff. All in all, this app is still very much in beta, and in fact, if you want to try it out, you have to go to this link, as it's not available through the Android market. However, there's a long history of Android owners moaning about the lack of decent Twitter apps, so if you're in that number, it could well be worth the extra effort. And that goes double if you're a heavy SNSer, SNS Social Network Service, which apparently is the new three-letter acronym on the blog. Spread the word. Now, this week's Celebrity App Doctor is a special one, featuring as it does one of my favourite British actors, Danny Dyer. Danny Dyer is this country's most consistent actor, consistently playing South London football hooligan gangster types. No one can deliver the line, you <laughs> like Danny Dyer. Sadly, Danny's latest film, Basement, has had a less than warm reception, and in fact is so bad that not even Danny could be bothered to turn up to the premiere. Much like he couldn't be bothered to turn up to the studio. But Danny, we're here to help. I think the answer to your problems is Flickster, which is now available on BlackBerry as well as Android and iPhone handsets. This app holds the world of cinema in your hand, which will hopefully open your eyes to the massive range of characters out there. Not only does it have reviews of the latest films to hit the box office, from the likes of IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes, you can use your GPS position to find your nearest cinemas, complete with showtimes, booking information, and even nearby restaurant information. You can also save your favourite cinemas for easy access to the ones you love. So Danny, there you have it. Have a play with Flickster and it might just open your eyes to the world of rom-coms, period dramas, perhaps even musicals. Danny, the world is your oyster. And please remember, I'll always love you. This week's viewer question came from one Katie Lee, who wanted a productivity app that could just pour into her brain. And we cheated slightly by looking at an app that was actually suggested to Katie by the developers themselves. However, it's pretty cool, so we wanted to share it with you. Please welcome Epic Win, the productivity app for those that want something a little bit different. It's an RPG for those with a to-do list, essentially. When you add a task, you choose the number of points to gain on completion, whether it's a test of stamina, intellect, spirit, etc., and the due date. Completing the task sees the task explode on the list, and takes you several steps closer to levelling up. If you want a to-do list app that syncs with every piece of tech you own, Epic Win is not for you. But if you think the only way you're going to nail your list is through some good old-fashioned RPG encouragement, Epic Win is 
epically winny. iOS 4 has been out for some time now, but are you using all of its super cool new features? Here are five tips to help you get the most out of Apple's latest iPhone update. The big ticket item in iOS 4 is multitasking, but this is multitasking done properly. Apps can't just run a mock in the background and run down your battery. Instead, they pause and start up instantly where you left off again. Only things like playing audio, staying logged into VoIP, keeping track of your location and finishing off uploads are allowed. To switch apps, just double tap the home button and scroll to the one you want. You'll still want to kill some background apps, especially if they've gone bad. Double tap the home button to show the app switcher and then press and hold the app you want to close. Hit the minus button to kill it dead. If you're a bit of an appaholic, folders will help keep your home screen in order. Just drop one icon on top of another to create a folder. It'll automatically get a name based on what's in there, or you can choose your own. If you want to stop your iPhone screen auto-rotating, say if you'd like a lie down while you're checking your email, double tap the home button to bring up the app switcher, but scroll all the way to the far left instead. Hit the lock icon and your iPhone will switch no more. It's hard to watch video while you're walking, but if you just want to listen to the audio, when you hit the lock button on your iPhone, it pauses the podcast. To get around this, pause the video manually, hit home, and then bring up the app switcher. Scroll far left and hit the play button there instead, and you can lock and listen to your heart's content. It's the end of the week, so what better time to indulge in a bit of time-wasting app activity? If you've ever feared you've read the whole of the internet, then the release of a StumbleUpon app for the iPhone and Android platform should be just the thing to quell the terror. StumbleUpon has been available as a non-mobile internet wonder for ages, allowing people to hit the stumble button on their browser toolbar and get random pages thrown back at them, in keeping with their own likes and dislikes. And now, all that's available on your mobile. Install the app and you're faced with the stumble button, which will whip you to a random site recommended by other stumblers. You can then thumbs up or thumbs down the site, and the more you do this, the more the app will learn that whilst you love Hitler downfall parodies, you hate lolcats, for instance. There's also the chance to see which other stumblers recommended the page, their reviews, as well as the ability to share any particular gems via Facebook, Twitter or email. If you're looking for some kind of justification for this time-wasting app, rebrand it in your mind as an internet inspiration app. It's a great tool for getting yourself out of that bookmark rut where you find yourself visiting the same five sites every day. And since it's free for both the iPhone and Android handsets, there really is no reason why you shouldn't own it immediately. Want more? There is a veritable plethora of options available to you. Follow us on Twitter. Fan us on Facebook. Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on iTunes. Tell us your thoughts in the comments at www.fraculus.com. And finally, email us on yo at fraculus.com. Phew.